So earlier we discussed how to cut this turban cap, that green one in the picture. We discussed how to cut it. And you remember I told you how to fold, that after you fold it flat, the way you fold the hair tie, you turn it backwards. If you look at the, the video very well, you understand what I was saying. Then, you know, it was joined straight as it is just straight like this and straight downward now what we we'll need to do is to use a needle and fish fishing line you can use thread actually but I'm good at using fishing line use a needle and fishing line watch carefully I'll take from this end I'll run stitches through it Well, I might decide to trim off this little excess before I continue. But it's not compulsory. If you are a type that likes your cap bulky at the back, you might deliberately leave some materials at the back. So, just like I started, I will run stitches through it. I'll keep running stitches like this. The material is quite thick, so let me try to pull out this one second. Okay. I continued, I didn't stop, I continued from the first corner and I'm still going like this. So I'll still continue this way. this is how the back will look like you might decide to pass it pass your needle through it again if you can but i'll just stop at this point because i'm using a fishing line not like the normal thread that easily gets cut off so after securing it after tying it at the end of your stitches you see that the back is ruffled when you turn it the other way this is what you get in turn this is already a cap with this back. You have tried to gather up all the excess materials you saw earlier. And then you first of all place it on the head of the doll. This is how the back is. The way the back of turban usually be. And this is how the front will look like. So the next thing to do is remember the material we cut three inches folded earlier. This is how to join it with the sewing machine, join it straight, then you try to turn it out to the good side. So after turning it, this is what you will now get. You see the good side of the material is already out. This is the turned one. So the next thing you have to do is, this is the small crino line I've showed you earlier today, crinoline or crino line. This is it. So we we'll have to fix it inside this material we just turned out. So I'll have to push it like this. I normally use my my scissors to push it in. So this is it. We have successfully fixed in a crinoline. See, it's inside it. It has made the material to come out big, kind of. So I will then trim off this excess. Now, remember we talked about having three foldings or four on top of the cap. 
So what I'll now do is I'll cut this into two. This is one yard. It's 37 inches. The okay, one yard is 36, but let me just assume it's 30. Uh, it's one yard. So I'll cut it into two equal parts. Equal parts. Fold into two. Now cut it. This is one. Meaning it's about 18, 18 inches. Then I'll cut another one to be like 20 or 23 inches. Let's just take 23. So that it should be bigger than this one. Take 23 inches. So all you need to do is this. fold it into two like this and sew it. Just sew this place together. Repeat the same thing for this one, this one, and the last one. The last one on top is the smallest one, and it's just about 13 inches. So you fold it into two like this and join it up. That's the first thing to do. So like I said, you fold this on top of each other like this. Just sit carefully. And then you try to sew it together. Sew it together. Just end it up. No, yeah, yeah. The same thing is what should be repeated to the other ones. So end this up now. This is how you have it. We'll do this, we'll repeat it on this two, three, and then we'll start placing it on the head of the two. So you can see we have done that for the whole of them. This is it. You can see this one. This is the longest. Then this one will come on top. This one to this one are equal, and then this is the last one. The smallest. So they are all coming together like this on the head. And see, this is how it's going to be like. So we need a band to cover this, and uh, for that purpose, we have one. I also cut small. I think this is about how many inches? Let's take the measurements. Okay, this is almost two, like about one and a half. Then that's after folding it. But even you're going to open the one and a half in two places is three inches. So we'll seal it down the way we did to this one, and then we'll just quickly turn it up so that we can use it to cover to join these three th uh, four things together. You can see it has been turned already. This is it. So what we'll now do, just as we started, is to place these ones on themselves, ensuring they are staying equal. Sorry, I can't really raise my voice than this. I'm using generator and uh, it's raining. I don't think I can increase my voice more than this. Please, bear with me. seems longer. Let it come down first. I don't know.
on this one, the last one. So we will now use this. Cover up all of this. So you find the way, ensure it's firm actually. You find the way to secure it back here. Joining only these two, don't join it with your your designs. Join only the one you brought to the back just now. This is an excess, so I'll cut it off. So we'll join it now, and this is how we'll have it. So this is when you join it, you can see very well. This is how it will be. It will be together like this. So the next thing we are supposed to do is to fix it on the head. See it on the side, not at the center. It might be beautiful for you at the center, but I think it's more beautiful by the side. Like this. So I'll be using needle and thread to tack this one at the floor. This one, I will tack it together with the cap. On this side, too, so I'll tack it together with the cap. Then keep it firm. Use needle and thread. Tap only this step closely, and this one closely. Don't touch this one. Just tack it on the head, and then this is how it will stay. So let me tack it then, show you a picture of it. But this is the end of the cap. But one other thing is, if you want to fix feathers like the way we have feathers on the on the one in the picture, all you need to do is take a little portion of feathers. Apply your glue. Let's just say this is all the feathers we want to use. Apply your glue, maybe and fix it somewhere beneath. You know that one came under like this. You can leave it like this, and that is the end of it. Thank you.